The most glorious name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Allah. And this is the primary name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the name Allah comes from Al-Ilah, the worshipped, Al-Ma'bud. And this is why throughout the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the term Allah to remind you that the one that created you, the one that sustains you, the one that you call upon is the only one that is worthy of your worship. This Lord that we talk about Allah, He is Allah because He possesses every beautiful name and every beautiful attribute. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Wudud, the loving and the beloved. No matter how much love you have in this life from your friends, from your spouses, from your parents, from everyone else in this world, you will always have a void in your heart that can only be fulfilled by the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he goes on to mention, that indeed in the heart is a void that can only be fulfilled with the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a lot of us don't realize this. A lot of mankind does not realize it. So that void that they find in their heart, they try to fulfill it with the desires of this world. Whether it be through wealth, whether it be through you know, women, whether it be through everything else, they try to fulfill it through desires. But they notice that they become more empty and more empty as these desires are fulfilled. They'll see that they'll try to fulfill it maybe with alcohol, with drugs. But where does that lead them? It leads them along the same path. They'll try to fulfill it with every each and every single thing, but it won't be fulfilled. Because that portion of your heart was created to be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he gives a beautiful example. He says the love of Allah in the heart of the believer is like a tree. Its roots are the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Its trunk is humility for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Its leaves is modesty from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the fruit that, it's bear, that it bears is obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you'll see that our whole relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it revolves around love. And this is why Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he gives his other famous example and parable. That our journey of worship towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like that of a bird. Whose head is love and its two wings are fear and hope. Now what is a bird without a head? It is not going to survive, it's not going to be able to fly. Similarly, our journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if it does not begin with love, then our journey will not progress. And that is why I began with Al-Wudud to remind us of this, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us and He wants us to love Him as well. And this is one of the unique names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where not only is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the subject, but He is the object as well. So when we talk about Ar-Rahman, He is the one who shows mercy. He is not the one who has mercy shown to Him. When we talk about that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Ghaffar and Al-Ghafur, He is the forgiver, but He is not the one who is forgiven. But when it comes to Al-Wudud, not only subhanahu wa ta'ala is He the loving, but He is the beloved as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that there's not a tree except that it glorifies Allah. Not a bird except that it glorifies Allah. Not any one of Allah's creations except that it is glorifying Him, except that we do not understand their glorification. Listen to the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa where he says, the skies shake. The skies shake and creak and they have the right to shake and creak. Because there's not a distance of four fingers Except that an angel is making ruku'ah, an angel is making sajda, an angel is making king qiyam to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this will continue till the day of judgment. This is the love that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for him. Now our question arises, where is our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? الحمد لله منا